Hey. All right, so all right, well, let me know all about this Volvo. Well, this Volvo was a, a dream car of mine. Uh, I saw a road and track had uh, done a, a review of this back in 1994, 1995 when it came out. And uh, as an eager driver, I'm like, wow, I'd really like to have a car like that. I think I the you. original uh, retail price was 45K, something like that. It was, it was fairly expensive for someone working on an hourly uh, salary. Yeah. So um, about two years later, on a November afternoon, just goofing off five minutes before quitting time at work, reading the one ads, <laughs> a little one inch advertisement said 1995 Volvo. Sweet. Didn't say anything more. I didn't say T5R. I didn't say anything. Else. I'm like, hmm. So I went and stopped by on my way home from work at the dealership. Nasty, sleety, crappy day. Kind of gray like today, except really frozen. Yeah. And I saw the car. Actually, I have the uh, Polaroid picture of it there in my album. Yeah. Uh, under the fluorescent lights, and it kind of looked lime green. It didn't really look this true yellow. And right. I, I want to buy that car. I didn't have any money at all, basically. But <laughs> I knew that if I didn't make the move, that somebody else would get it. Sure. So I said, will you take a deposit? The salesman said, sure. So American Express, I put down 500 bucks. Okay. Drove home and said, hmm, okay, now how do I sell it to my wife? Right. You know, because <laughs> she's driving an old Volvo station wagon, and she likes it. And I said, you know, it's kind of starting to wear out and stuff. I said, you know, if I buy this, you know, you can drive it. Now, well, that kind of sort of sold halfway. She said, okay, but you have to sell your work truck. I sold my work uh, truck, drove this almost 15 years back and forth into Boston. Awesome. As a daily driver, because that was a deal. If I, right. if I was going to buy it, I, I, I had to drive it. When I went back the next day to the dealership to try to explain how I'm going to get a loan from the credit union, he said, you know, there was a woman that looked at the car before you. She stopped in around lunchtime and said, I really like the car, but let me go talk to my husband. Yeah. Well, apparently the husband came back about 7 o'clock that night as they were closing. said, uh, I want to buy that car. And the salesman's like, well, I'm sorry, it's already sold. Yeah, yeah. Apparently the uh, Dedham police had to escort him from the dealership. He oh was so goodness. angry. Really? Oh, well, I, I can get that. You know, yeah. it's, it, it got oh, away. Yeah. So if you don't move, you lose. That's a sought after Volvo right there, no doubt. And so now, all these years later, tw I don't know, 26, 27 years later, a little over 120,000 miles. Nice, um, not bad. Uh, really low mileage compared to how long these last. Yeah, yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. I, I, I heard I, you saying she goes pretty quick, huh? Uh, yeah, I can't admit onto camera, but I have been <laughs> uh, basically detained several times to exchange papers and explain why I was uh, traveling uh, uh, excessively. Yeah, uh, yeah. One time an Ohio trooper stopped me, asked what I was doing, said, I can't see the speed limit officer, sun's on my eyes at six o'clock in the morning. Yeah, there he you said, go. said, okay, well, I'll write you up, not for a felony, but for, you know, going fast. Whew. And yeah. he said, so what do you do for a living, sir? And I said, I'm, I'm a safety consultant. And he <laughs> said, well, drive safe, sir. <laughs> um, I've had it at Lime Rock uh, and Watkins Glen. Nice. Um, about 120, 125 unofficially. Um, Excellent. M most of the racing I do is is friendly racing. Yeah. Uh, none yeah. of the door handle, the door handle kind of stuff. Right, uh, right, right. I, I thoroughly enjoy the car. Um, yeah, I, that I'm turbo. Really, really happy to be still driving it. It's. A, I yeah. bet it's so fun to drive. I oh, bet it, it, I bet. it is. And yeah. it still it turns a lot of heads because they look at it and say, "Oh, it's a yep. Volvo," yep. and then they see me in their. Uh, through their windshield yeah and not their rear view mirror and then discover that um 250 horsepower is enough to move a relatively lightweight car like this. oh yeah absolutely uh, it's pretty much a subaru wrx yeah. under the hood yeah well the, the five cylinder in line was a departure for volvo yeah uh, everybody laughed and said you got to do a lot of balancing and it, you got to change the firing order so right rather than doing extensive changes to the crankshaft they yep. fire in an oddball order Right. So they fire one, five, two, three. And so what Got it does it. is it helps to balance out the, the fact that it's only really a four bearing right. or, or a six bearing lower end. Interesting. Interesting. But, um, but it the goes. Swedish, the Swedish police had them outfitted yeah. for chasing BMWs oh, wow. and Mercedes. <laughs> um, they did, uh, the factory did allow the uh, police departments to do some additional R&D with them bigger brakes, uh, bigger boost, right. and, and so forth. Sure. Uh, but basically still the same motor. They race this motor, the guys that want to tune it, 
are pumping 350, 400 horsepower out of a five-cylinder yeah, yeah. 2.5 liter engine, which yeah. is pretty good. Really sharp yeah. looking car. Thank I love you. the color. It really pops. It caught my eye on the way in. That's oh. for sure. Absolutely. Well, it also ca happens to catch a lot of uh, law enforcement uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. eyes as Absolutely. well. Yeah, Absolutely. Yep. Bright yellow. Oh, yeah. But uh, no, like I said, I thoroughly enjoy driving and I'm going to continue until they yeah. get my keys away. Wonderful. Yeah. I can't wait to put this on the channel. All right. I can't wait yeah. to see you. All right. So big thanks to David out there. And if you guys like this video, let YouTube know by hitting the like and subscribe buttons and leaving us a comment. You're watching Cool Car Envy. We'll see you on the next one.